Hey, I'm Marty from Spring Ahead Media Solutions, and today I'm going to be going over with you how to upload a file with your email contact into your MailChimp audience. There's three major ways to get contact into your audience. Uploading a file is one of them. The other one is having them sign up through a sign up form on a landing page or a website. And the third one is to have your MailChimp system integrated with another program that you're using for sales or things like that. Um, but today we are going to take a file and upload all of your folks into MailChimp. So let's get into it. The file that I'm going to be starting with today is a Google Sheet. You can also use Excel or Numbers. You can see I have various columns here. I would recommend for email purposes that your first names and last names of your contacts are separated. If you right now have them stuck together, you can keep them that way if you want to, but I'll also leave some links below of how to use formulas to separate them out. I, of course, have my emails here. And then I've created a column called coolness to show you what happens when your columns don't exactly match what MailChimp already has planned for you. I am going to export this file. The trick here is that all of your files need to be exported as a CSV file. That's how you're going to import them into MailChimp. All right, so we're starting from our main screen. I'm using an audience that doesn't have any contacts in it yet. So if I click on audience over here, all those little faces, it's going to give me a button to import. If you already have folks in there, you can go over to this drop down menu here, import contacts. Now MailChimp and I will always recommend using one audience. And then there's various ways to sort folks within that audience. Um, but we're gonna upload a file, continue. We're gonna find our file. All right, and continue to organize. It's going to go into my audience. These folks are going to go in as subscribed. Now remember, you do need to ask permission to email people. And then I'm going to update any existing contacts. So now it's asking me if I'd like to tag any of these contacts. So a tag is an internal label. Um, you can label your contacts any way that you want and they can have many different labels. This would be used in the future if you want to email just these folks or if you want to exclude these folks from an email. I'm going to put in YouTube examples as my tag for these folks. Um, this is also why you might want to update contacts that you already have. So if they're already in there but you wanna add a tag to them, you can do this here. MailChimp will never allow you to duplicate um, you're never going to have multiples of a contact. They go by email address. So once someone's in there with an email address, they exist there. And we're going to continue to match. Also, if at some point they've unsubscribed from your emails, MailChimp will remember that also. Okay, so MailChimp has recognized that these are first names, these are last names, these are emails. And then this orange column means that MailChimp can't figure out what this is supposed to be. So I'm going to click on this, and MailChimp's going to give me all of the categories that they already have for this, okay? But I have created a brand new category with my coolness category. This would also come up if you did have your names as a full name. They don't have a category for a full name, so you're going to create a field, and I'm going to type in coolness. It's text, it's not a number or any of these things. And I'm going to confirm. And now I'm going to import. It's letting me know that there's four columns to be imported and there's zero columns not being imported. It could be that in your file, you have columns that you don't need in MailChimp. And so then you're gonna skip importing those. You would just leave it orange if you didn't want it. We're going to import, complete import. It will run your import in the background. So you may not see them pop up immediately, but it will send you an email when it's complete. The email that you get once everything's uploaded will confirm how many emails were imported. Um, sometimes it will let you know how many have been updated and it will let you know if any of them had errors. Every once in a while on your spreadsheet, someone will write in like gmail.con con instead of com and it'll give you a chance to um, correct those. So here are all of my folks, email address, first name, last name. I don't have this information for these folks, my coolness factor and how they're tagged. I hope that that helped you out. As I mentioned, I have other tutorials about how to organize your audience if you wanna get more in depth with that or how to create an email campaign or a landing page or anything else. So check out my other videos and I'll see you around.